Welcome into 12 News at 10. I'm Rachel Hackbar. And I'm Michael Schwenke. Tonight we're hearing new reaction from parents as they look for the signatures needed to spark a review of the Wichita School District's decision to close six of its schools. First, let's take a look at what's at stake here, what we know as of tonight. The district taking us through this picture as it voted to close these six schools once classes in this spring. The cuts to address that $42 million hole it needs to fill come, comes now in three phases. The first, cutting about $9 million. The second being the decision to close the six schools that was made last night, saving about 16 million. The remaining $16.8 million to be cut will look at administrative buildings, eliminating positions through attrition and making other non-school budget cuts, including to things like travel. With the question remaining of where students from these closing schools will go, the district recommending what's being called an intent form. This would allow parents to help select which school they'd prefer their student to go to. So despite district recommendations, parents are now calling for the State Board of Education to review the decision. That review takes a petition with signatures of 5% of the registered voters within USD 259's boundaries. Brandon Stitt meeting with some of those parents working to get the signatures they need to move this to a review being signed the moment that five to two vote happened Monday night. Now parents are taking those petitions door to door, hoping for a change. We need to get 10,000 signatures within 45 days. Okay. We will bring this uh, then to the Board of Education in Topeka. Parents okay. like Ruth Lehman and Lisha Watts aren't waiting yeah. a minute. We had been preparing for weeks beforehand to make sure that our petition is uh, legally viable and follows all of their uh, protocol. Knocking on doors, yeah. hitting the pavement day to day to get signatures and I'm not going to stop and Ruth isn't going to stop until we get the signatures we need because the kids deserve it. By Kansas law, before closures can be finalized, there is a 45 day period for people to ask the State Board of Education to review the Wichita School Board's decision. For that to happen, petitions must be signed by at least 5% of the registered voters within the district boundary. We hope that with this petition that we could help inspire uh, the hope of the community of Wichita to come together. Ruth and Lisha both think the school district moved too fast and voted for something the people of the district didn't want. I think it was very steamrolled, uh, very rushed. It's not what we wanted. It's not what the people wanted. It's not what we told them we wanted. Board member Melody McCray Miller voted against the closures. She said the public needed more information before casting a vote. I believe the public should have this information now as we're making this decision. This is a drastic and could be a life changing decision. For these parents, they still have hope something will change. It means hope that my son can go back to school next year at the same school that he deserves to go to. In Wichita, Brandon Stitt. 12 News.